Hi, this is a continuation for power electrons lectures and last time we have covered how we derive the RMS value for any waveform uh, and we just covered some common or popular waveforms in power electronics and today we are going to cover how we use Altis pipes to confirm and to calculate for us the average value and RMS value for different waveforms and also to go one step uh, further uh, about how we use it also to uh, calculate the average power uh, by any component. So today we are going to cover uh, just two examples. The first example is this one, which is a, a triangular waveform with an offset. We learned that there are two signals and they are we can decompose them and get the average value for each of them. And then finally we will get the RMS value for the new waveform and we got it like this one. Okay, so I naught is the average point here. Okay and RMS value is in terms of the average value or, uh, and also the peak to peak value. So let's have this example where we have peak to peak value is from 500 milliamp to 800 milliamp. And that's, we assume that there is a symmetry between the uh, positive and negative peaks around the average value, okay? And if we want to go to calculate the average value, so the average value is the middle point between the 500 and 800, okay? And how we get it by 800 minus 500 divided by two, and that will give us the, the new value between them, but we have to add the offset, okay? And we assume that this signal is standing on another DC signal, which is 500 milliamp, okay? So how we get the value, it's like this, 800 milliamp minus 500 milliamp divided by 2 plus 500 milliamp, and we should get 650 milliamp, okay? You can, uh, if, if the signal is different a little bit, you can really use the integration to get it, but we can use this very simple rule to get it, okay? We will use now the average value uh, in the calculation of RMS here and also here, but the peak to peak value is the difference, which is from 800 minus 500. And after substituting these values in RMS value, so we should get finally 655.74 milliamp. I want you to recalculate that using your calculator and see if that's correct or no. Now we can use this RMS value, which is for the current, for example, if that's for a voltage, it will be 800 voltage or 80 voltage or 8 voltage. And that's uh, the same for, for this value. So we will assume this current now is going through a resistor. So if I ask you what is the power dissipated by this resistor, you will tell me I will use the RMS value, square it and multiply it by resistor, okay, value. So we will get RMS square times R and that's the power dissipation. I will leave it for you now to calculate what's the power dissipation, okay, using that value square times R and we will get the R value from the simulation. I assume the R value in the simulation as a hundred ohm. So prepare your answer here and let's go now to Altispice to validate what we got here. So here is Altispice. Please don't worry about anything you don't understand because I'm going to cover Altispice in another video uh, and tutorial about uh, the basics of Altispice. So don't worry about what you see here. It's very simple circuit. We have a source here. That source is our signal that we already have in our slide. I have made it by this command here, okay? And that is just a resistor 100 ohm. So how we calculate the resistor, uh, sorry, the current and also the power dissipation, we just run the simulation now. And we, first, I will show you the signal coming out from there, which is, if I just press on the voltage source, I get the voltage signal. So all the values here are in volt which is started from 50 volt and going to 80 volt, okay? I can reset this to start from zero instead of starting from 50. So it will be from zero to 50 as a signal and that's just standing on that signal, okay? So 50 to 80, 50 to 80. Now, if I apply this voltage signal across the, the resistor, which is 100 ohm, I think I will get exactly similar waveform but for the current and how we draw the current just simply go to the and the middle in the uh, of the resistor here and you'll see the symbol of the current as a pointer for the mouse and then just left click on the mouse and you will get 
again another waveform okay that waveform is on top of the voltage waveform because they have the similar where uh, shape okay so let's now reset this to start from zero and that's again from zero and i think they are on top of each other what's the value for the current it starts from 500 milliamp to 800 milliamp exactly what we planned in our slides okay so now i want to read of the voltage because i don't want the, the voltage i just right click on it and delete this trace it's gone now so i want to reset this to zero again so here's our signal exactly like what we want in our slide 500 to 800 500 to 800 now i want the alti spice to help me to calculate the average value and arms value for this current signal how we do that simply by going to the current the uh, current name current waveform name here okay and the press control in the keyboard and then you press the mouse button and then i will get the average value and arms value so i press on the name of the waveform but before that i have to uh, press the uh, control and hold pressing that uh, until i i just get the value so what's the average value here it's 650 exactly what we got in the slides arms value 655.74 milliamp i hope you validated that by your calculator as well and that's what we got in the slide as well okay perfect what about the power dissipation how we got the power dissipation and i think the power dissipation is i square rms times r and we get it from altispice by just hovering over the resistor and by pressing alt key it will be converted the mouse pointer to thermometer and then by pressing it will generate for us the equation for the power and the same way if i want to get the average value before pressing on the name of the waveform i press control and press then again i got 50 uh, 43 watt have you got it by your calculation or no please confirm okay so 43 watt is the average value of power dissipated by this resistor i just want to go further one step okay just we're rid of the power signal and let's go to this current signal i have mentioned before that if i kept the average and peak to peak value the same the rms will be the same so let's prove this one i will shift this point here from that about 2.5 milliamp milli millisecond to be shifted to one millisecond so i just want to shift one of the peaks left or right okay so how i do that i just go to this command and change the one the 250 to one milli second and then run it so here is the new signal so exactly the same frequency but the peak value just shifted and we learned from the slide last time that it will keep the same average and also the same uh, uh, rms value let's test that by pressing the control and the waveform name 650 as average 655.74 exactly milliamp uh, as we already uh, known from the slide let's now shift it again i want to get this value exactly like five millisecond so that let's say 4.99 and run it look look at that okay so we have different value different shapes of the waveform but we kept the same peak to peak and kept the same frequency let's see the average 650 again rms 655.74 milliamp exactly so we don't have any doubt about this let's now show you another example i have different waveform now it's not one of the popular waveforms that we already seen in the slides and it's very different random waveform okay so that waveform i have uh, made it up by just written here one command okay i will show you that waveform so i will run it and press on the voltage source here here is the waveform it's from zero then go to 100 volt uh, by two millisecond and then steady for about three millisecond and then after two millisecond it will be zero okay so here is the waveform it's random and i want uh, altispice to help me to calculate the average value and arms value 
for the voltage I can this is a voltage waveform so I can really do control and press I get the average value of the voltage which is 50 and I got the average value average value for the voltage is 65.828 okay what about the current I will go to the resistor and press I will get the current value which is here it will be the same exact shape on top of the voltage and control press 500 milliamp 658.28 milliamp this is the arms value i want you to get this arms value now square it and multiply it by 100 milliamp okay so if you done this one you should get an average power of let's go now to calculate the power hover over the uh, uh, resistor and press alt it will be like thermometer press and you are getting here a new equation which is the equation of the instantaneous power and by pressing control and on the waveform you should get 43.33 watt so please you calculate it by your calculator i square rms uh, times uh, the resistance which is 100 and see if this is the answer 43.333 watt if it is so no doubt now about any different or random shape and we can really uh, write it here and then we ask the LT spice just to validate the average value and the volt the RMS value for our uh, waveform and we can use it as well for power dissipation calculation I will show you now another example which we have a diode here okay I bought this resistor just to limit the current because otherwise the software will give you very high current in tera and giga ampere so to avoid this just I bought one ohm okay okay so now we have power dissipation in the diode and that power dissipation will be the integration of the instantaneous current times the instantaneous voltage if we have waveform which is different from what we used to i think we have to calculate everything from the start okay but we can use altispice to do this calculation for us so now let's run this example and let's see the waveform the waveform as as the previous one okay so it's so from 0 to A to 100 volt and then back to 0. But we have some, some steady value here. So now if we apply this volt across the resistor and the diode, let's see now the current through that diode. Okay, here's the current. That current actually from 0 to, it seems here about, about 100 amp. Okay, and then go back to 0 again. So we have instantaneous voltage and current, but the instantaneous voltage, it should be from that point, not from that point. That point is the source, but that point is the instantaneous voltage across the diode. So let's have it and delete the first one. Okay, so we have here the instantaneous voltage and also the instantaneous current. Okay, where is the instantaneous voltage? Here's the instantaneous voltage. All right, so we can really just, we can just zoom it a little bit. And yeah, it's about 0.8 voltage here when it's on and zero here when it's off, right? So that's why we have this waveform for the instantaneous voltage. And this is just rescaling for the voltage and current. So here is the current scaling and here's the voltage scaling. Now, if we multiply these signals together, I believe you will agree with me that from 7 milliamp to, to 10 milliamp, there is no power because it's zero, but the power will be from 0 to 7 milliamps so if you want to integrate you can really integrate the voltage times the current okay and the current here has equation because it's line equation you have to get the line equation and here another line equation the voltage across the diode it can be assumed as constant over this period okay which is about 0.95 okay but to be more accurate we can ask the LT slice to do that so let's go to the diode and alt key press it generates for us the voltage times current instantaneously let's just delete the other signals signal for the power dissipation okay i can calculate the average value by pressing key uh, control key and on that uh, voltage it's about 46.75 what this is the dissipation by this diode also we can calculate the dissipation by this resistor okay so it will be again it's very high because it's one ohm and we are applying 100 volt 
so the dissipation will be really high okay so it's about 4.2 kilowatt it's very high so if we want to see the power delivered by the source we alt we press alt key and press here and also it is this one alt it will be 4.28 which is the power dissipated by the resistor plus the power dissipated by the diode itself all right so that's it for the power dissipation calculation rms and average value by altispice i hope you enjoyed this lecture by linking the altispice and how we use it uh, with the lecture content as well just to motivate you to use the software and start learning uh, because you're going to use it for your assessment as well see you next time and thank you